everyone welcome day 4 um this session will focus on your technical q and a's any challenges that you having issues you facing and how we can help to resolve it not that we have a solution for everything but just the fact that we will find a solution so if you have a question that you want to ask please use the q and a section put in the chat and i can address it if you would like to speak out to the entire audience and say what your issue is i would really appreciate it and i'll unmute you to do that please raise your hand in the go to webinar there's an option there in go to webinar that you could do that and if there's a need for you to share your screen become the presenter and show what you're facing as a challenge and for us to kind of uh, go through that would love to do that as well and the last and most important thing team is while i said the five day session five day free training i believe it's going to be a couple of days more because most important or the mission for me is to get your fundamentals correct your foundation laid right after that it's pretty easy for us team I'll start with taking a few chat questions, and then we'll get to uh, some of the hands that were raised. Um, there's one question saying, "Can you please tell me any real-time scenario where we use Selenium ID instead of Web Driver?" Sure. So what happens, um, Kriti is, and I haven't shown you that scenario yet, but the best feature that selenium id gives us is this find feature so when we put a target and we say find it will tell us if what we or how we look at an element in the web browser is right or not that is the best feature so whenever i kind of try and create an x path which we have not covered yet or element identification for any element let's say for example uh, the logo itself so i right click here and i inspect element with firebug and i'll just show you how i will write an x path for this element whenever i'm doing on web driver it's on eclipse uh, if it's with java so if it's there with eclipse on java i need to write next path or a class or some definition of it so let's see an attempt in x path and team i have not yet shown this to you so don't worry if you do not understand what i'm writing right now a class equals single quotes So I put that data there and I say find it should highlight that element it did so I know now I can take the where portion of it and put it back into my code that's the only area where I use a selenium ID <clears throat> the other area that I use selenium ID at the very initial stages of my programming career on automation testing is when i was not sure of a few commands but i still wanted to figure out if there's something that i could uh, how do i say uh, instead of breaking my head on something 
if there's an easy solution, so I used to the record very, very initially at the beginning and see how it will write the script and then we convert it. And team, this Q&A is important. It's not just for the individual who asked the question, but for everyone else. All right. So based on the your fourth point, the intent is to cover WebDriver next week. Not at all. I am not going to cover WebDriver. Not in this training. Hitesh, all right. I am going to give you the basics of moving from IDE to WebDriver, yes, next week. The WebDriver concept by itself is not big. But the programming in the frameworks concept added with WebDriver is huge. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, one more question. You had said in your yesterday's session to remind you to cover, discuss cloud server client concept. So reminding you the same. Thank you, Shridhanjali Kang. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll. I'll take an attempt on that. So this. Give me a second team. Okay. Uh, so cloud server, was it the, I think I have a question to your question. Now, when I said that, what did I mean? Is it, when I change in Firebug and so on, Shadanjali, is it reference to that team? Yes. Okay. Cool. So very simple team. Let's say I have Firebug here. Now, is this Amazon.com's real website? Yes. Is it being uh, accessed from what they want us to see? Correct? Yes or no, everyone? Yes, right. Now, let us say I'm going to change something on this website. This cell, I want to change it to sales, for example. Everyone. How do I do it? I right click, I say inspect element or with firebug, either one is fine. And out here where the code is, I will say, come on. Sales. Now, oops, yeah, it's done. Can you see it reflected on the website? Now, at this point, if each of you visit to the same website that I'm seeing, will you see it as sell or sales? And if you have a question, you should visit that website and check it once, please. All right. You will see it as cell. But where did it change? It changed at mine. So that basically means that all websites right are hosted on servers 
and these servers are somewhere in the global cloud which is also term, termed as con um, continuous delivery networks CDNs the space given to you like the different clouds or server spaces created to make sure that depending on the country you are accessing from um, the version of it gets downloaded from it when we are a user of it and we try and open a website this gets downloaded onto our local machine and we see that so when we change things here this will not get updated it's only done by the administrator the reason this is an important concept team it, it doesn't it's not as stupid as it looks it's the fact that what is in your control and what is in someone else's control only the admins have the right to push information to you whenever you open a website your website is being downloaded to your system from somewhere and that is one of the primary causes for our uh, viruses as well team they can do anything once they get access to it all right so team i'll move on to the next question hope that answered your question uh, what was this i'm sorry there's so many questions here i'm just trying to make sure I answer everything shadanjali all right uh, we need to ask the questions doubts only on the topics covered so far uh, sunita in this one you can ask any question you want team i'll open it up any question that you have you can ask what are the drawbacks of selenium uh, so samir i'll answer that for you the drawbacks of anything is how much you know that thing every product or technology that comes in the world comes with its feature list it tells you what it can do what it cannot do how much can we do with it is the main drawback that's see the way i'm answering visualize yourself answering the same way in an interview all right now at the same time selenium has been built for a specific purpose love something in your life team love it and say i stand by it and if selenium by for example i like selenium i love selenium it's not that it's the best thing it's just that it gave me a great start it gave us a platform to do something what are the drawbacks of selenium maybe it's because it's only web based testing and it requires some immense coding it does not have uh, concepts like actions or object repositories or uh, recovery scenarios or uh, checkpoints like we have in hp uft qtpt there are many of them but the reason those drawbacks is there is because my other belief is java can do anything so if you combine selenium web driver and java it should be capable to handle the most of the scenarios that happen in our testing life cycle especially on the focus more on the functional side of it samir i hope i answered your question but if we try and list down there are a lot of drawbacks it's not one look at it. they created selenium id that's different then selenium web driver as just 
the pre-built low-level keywords and now we're trying to build over it. So they gave us the platform and they said go around, build on it. That is what it is. It's very tough to otherwise find drawbacks. The other drawback is it's open source. Is open source a drawback or not team? Team is being open this is a drawback. All right, let's see. No, 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 never. Yes, no. So the ones who are saying it's a drawback, can you try and give me one reason why it's a drawback? I saw from Ashwini, from a security point of view, right? Because they're not focusing on secure things, securing things for you. <coughs> they're giving the platform and they're saying, go ahead, enjoy the show. And then you have to make sure it's secure, correct? Kirti, I'll answer your question in a second. <coughs> what else, Steve? about it. Is it good to be open source or not? Uh, D tips. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll come to your question answer later. We may not have genuine help as product will be used more. Open source advantage, right? Okay. Here's the advantage on disadvantage of open source. Number one, the owners won't make quick money. They'll make money over a period of time because of popularity gain. Right. Second thing is, open source does not have a paid technical support or help. So, if you want to call someone or email someone about a challenge that you're facing, is not easy but then there's the side advantage of open source cause there are contributors and users globally who are able to use the same platform as you for free and they either ask questions or address questions and that's great community or forum service so there are advantages and disadvantages. Just because something is free team does not mean that it will free you. Your time is the most valuable thing. And if you're spending on it on something, then make sure it's good because it's the most valuable thing. All right, team. So I'm just moving on in terms of the questions. If I've missed any questions from earlier, kindly take a minute and put it back here for me, please. Uh, okay, so there's a question here and I have absolutely ridiculous answer for that. Reka, you're saying, hi Karthik, can you please speak something about Selenius commands? All right, so I remember this fairly, not that I'm an expert at it. Before the Selenium ID and web driver came up, it was the Selenium server and those commands were called as Selenius commands. S-E-L-E-N-E-S-C. -E -E -E. And they kind of predominantly did all these operations. Selenium server, which is supposed to be started, executed and so on, has been killed through the web driver mode. And with that, the Selenius, com Selenius commands also, I believe, like I said again, I'm not an expert team. Believe me, I'm very bad at Selenium ID. I'm amazingly good at Java and Selenium web driver. I'm being honest. When I said amazingly good, to what I believe we can achieve. So the answer is, uh, Selenium com Selenius commands are more redundant. Now, 
in today's world we talk more about the command crt that comes up with what we have in the selenium id but again when you take the same ones into selenium web driver it's going to look totally different everyone all right um, what level of core java coding expertise is required to begin with selenium okay good question arna kumar let us say on a scale of 1 to 10 one is someone who does not know any concept of programming and 10 being someone who is an expert the best java coder in the world for a developer good developer there need to be somewhere in the range of 6 and a half to maybe 9 and a half for automation test engineers since we talking about the focus on automation we need to be somewhere in that 5 and a half to 7 and a half that's it in terms of rating it's much easier and simpler than trying to learn java or any programming language that's required for developers why do we use frameworks uh samir very simple and team I'll, after this question i'll take a few ones to raise the hands they've been um, hands raised for some time so i want to do that as well last question before why do we use frameworks um i'm just trying to think of an example to address this correctly what is a framework team framework has not been designed by a human framework has been designed by the creator if you believe in god then he or she did that for a human species they said this is the skeleton structure these are the number of bones they will have these are the parts and limbs they'll carry here is where the super processor brain will look live and then human started putting flesh to it started putting muscles to it organs and so on a framework is like a skeleton sorry team it is like a building so when you look at building constructions the concrete jungle that we seeing today everywhere we move our eyes around it's all about creating the structure first and the standard process after that you put the windows you put the doors you put the walls you put the interiors you put the flooring and so on the structure keeps going team it's a standard specification that has to be met for any object that's a framework what it does is it gives us the foundation level stability like this training i've been emphasizing foundation foundation and so on it gives you that initial starting point if your foundation is weak beat in real life or in it everything that you try and learn and build over it it will fail if your foundation is strong with the right structure the right framework whatever you build on it can be changed later and it can be improved later in case it's bad hopefully samir i answered your question but once you know more about automation framework then you can uh, kind of visualize it which unfortunately is not part of this training but i guess you are part of one of those other trades 
Um, are there different flavors of selenium with selenium ID being one? Okay, I, you know what? I'll honor my word. I'll start unmuting. So, sorry, Divya, I'll come to your question. Prem Kumar, do you have a question for me? I've unmuted you. Um, the question is uh, the programming you know, uh, knowledge. So you, you answered it, uh, you know, a uh, few minutes back. So I got the answer for this. I mean, basically, uh, is JavaScript or Java, we need to know. Um, we need to know programming mm -hmm. and some of the basic concepts of it. JavaScript, not really, because JavaScript is more inclined with Selenium ID. More, mm -hmm. more Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby on Rails, and so on. So one of those technologies. But okay. yeah, and thank you. I mm -hmm. like answered earlier, Prem Kumar. It's about not trying to uh, become a master of development. We try to become a master of software automation testing. Right. Shiva, you have a question for me? Uh, I'm working as a test engineer for two years long for the application of MS Dynamics here. Yeah, can you go a little slower and louder uh, if any is possible? Yeah. So, I'm audible now? Yes. Uh, Alexa, good morning. I am working as a test engineer for two years long for the application of MS Dynamics here on premises. So, here based on your class of Selenium, you have to understand that it is only for blanks to web-based application server, right? So my query is that how do I test this uh, web-based application using CR? Sorry, using Selenium? You cannot. Simple. <laughs> I cannot. <right>? You cannot. <laughs> you cannot. So in so CRM online, so I can test, right? If a CRM or an ERP can be accessible online, yes. But if there are further more complexities added to it, like let's say with AngularJS or Ajax and so on, sometimes there are challenges. Yes, yes. But if it's typically a web-based application, you have a great opportunity. If it is non-web-based, Selenium says, I, I won't help you. I cannot. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Now, why did that happen? QTP, before that bin runner, when they started, they said, for us to understand web-based application, we need to know HTML. To understand a Java application, we need to look at the Java code behind it. For us to understand a .NET, we need to know that code. For us to understand SAP, we need that plugin or add-on. And it kept on adding all these add-ons. Okay. It went on that way. Selenium came in and said, I'll only do web. I can't do anything else. But still kind of overruled QTP and UFT today and lean UFT lean tomorrow. The reason is it's a focused market. And the belief that everything will go web-based eventually. The client server applications or something that's installed and implemented at your desktop level or your LAN level will be more limited. So they kind of could have visualized what's coming up. All right, Shiva? Yeah, fine, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Vidya, you have a question for me? Hi, Vidya. You have a question for me? I'm trying to unmute you. I couldn't. Okay. Now, did you have a question for me? Okay. Can't hear you. Madhuri, you have a question? Madhuri, I can hear you. You have a question for me? Hello. Mother, if you have a question, then raise your hand back again, please. Because we could hear you, but not sure if you're prepared to talk at the time. 
Naguera, you have a question for me, please. Yeah, friend, what happens if you're not allowed any of these plugins in, in a company because of security reasons? And so how do we go about finding these without these um, plugins, you know, the browser plugins? I'm sorry, Naguera, your voice is choppy. I heard a few words, not everything. Okay, so if a company does not allow you to add any web browser add-ins, what is the alternative solution? Find locators. Okay, I get your point. So, corporations are very, very security oriented for their obvious reasons. They don't want a tool or a plugin to come in and say, um, I have control on your browsers in your network. So they put restrictions as to what you can download and what you can use. Now, if those restrictions are there, you will, we will rather need to uh, figure out what we can use and what we cannot. There is no uh, way you can do it because the company policies comes paramount for us. Now, as alternates, they always work around solutions team. Uh, I can't give you a precise answer, but let me try. Firebug, for example, it's a Firefox add-on or plugin, whatever you can call it. Do we have something in Selenium? Mm, maybe yes. Is that something that will help us to um, identify elements? Yes. But then in Chrome now, if I want to do the same thing, let's say this get started icon, um, image or a button or just a CSS styling, I want to identify. I right click on it and I still see inspect. And let me look at the code. The only plugin that Noguera that you need to be watchful for is Selenium IDE. And that you need to get a permission. Or the alternate that I've seen that works in corporations is you can request them for a private network system that sits on its own network, not directly connected with the overall farm of the corporation where you can do research. It's a research lab and there you can play around. That's a request based on how you talk about ERA and what will be the ROI or return on investment of the efforts for test automation. It's a complicated answer, but just the fact that you have to work things around. I hope you answer your question. I'm sorry to interfere, Karthik. Sure. Uh, hello, Kartik, this is Ashna. I'm sorry to interfere, but your voice was breaking. While you were responding to the question, even uh, your voice was breaking, so we could not hear uh, the answer completely. Wow. It did break a lot of time, yeah. So we were unable to connect. Thank you, Ashna. Team, everyone had the same issue, I'm assuming. Nagwira, did I answer your question? Or it's still... Okay, I'll, kind of I'll try my level best to summarize. Security is important. Companies will put the restrictions. You have open source options. Then you have freely available browser based options that you can try and use. And then you try something does not work. Get a special permission from the administration saying this is important because we are a research lab. We are researching about how to improve on our return on investment while following the ERA approach and how that will uh, shape up the organization further and they will be responsive. Believe me, when someone works in a team, no one wants to destroy it. So they will all support that. I hope I could uh, summarize that answer, Aguera. Sure. Thank you. Prem Kumar, you had a question for me. Uh, no, Kishodri. Like, and I have asked the question, same questions. Like, I don't want to repeat it. All right. Thank you. 
Anudeep, you have a question for me? All right, looks like I've finished all the questions with the hands raised. Any other questions on the chat? So team, do me one favor, please. Uh, any questions that I have missed or are still not addressed, I apologize. Can you kindly take a minute and put it back here in the chat? There's one question from Maria Raj. Difference between Selenium IDE and Selenium IDE flow control. I have absolutely no clue. No idea. Totally. But then maybe we'll find the answers easily um, on Google. As long as you believe Google is a great friend and you ask the right questions, it will tell you the right answers. We'll find all the things. But again, I know you've come here because if a trainer is there, his job or duty or her job or duty is to address the questions. I don't, but now I'll search. I'm inquisitive. Uh, sorry, Madhya, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, other question, can we test SAP application in Selenium? You know what? That is one platform I've never ever worked on or really seen beyond a few screens, SAP. In my whole IT career, I've seen so many platforms, ERP, CRMs and so on. I started my career with ERP, but I've never really uh, gone through SAP much. Will it work on SAP? I don't know. Will it, um, if SAP is cloud-based rather web-based, then yes. If it's got some more complex things like flex and so on, a little bit more challenging. Otherwise, it will work on anything that's open on a browser, Selenium. Can Selenium handle capture objects? No, it cannot. Not Selenium, but you can try and hack it. You know, the aggressive way of trying to decode CAPTCHA images or those prove I'm human kind of questions. It's really, it, it cannot. It's a tough thing. It's possible. It's tough. Selenium does not give you anything with it. But then, if you're a vivid programmer, kind of almost close to or um, there as a hacker, there's big potential. I heard Selenium is a Java API. What would that mean? Selenium is a Java API. See, API is what application programming interface, which lets two or more applications interface or communicate or interact with each other. Most of the times through XML or database, some web services based database and so on. Uh, web service based XML and so on, right? Now, if the Java API means if you want any other application to talk to Selenium or Selenium, we need to use a Java API to do that. That's what it means, Shadanji. Selenium has performance issues when lines of code increases. Wow. Sure, every code will have issues when the lines of code increase. So how do we keep it minimal? How do we keep it more reasonable? A few thousand lines of code will never matter. But as the code keeps increasing, there's a challenge. Because when you execute a program, it kind of compiles, debugs, builds it, and starts executing it. It is the first time, right? So there's some delay on it. But when it looks at areas like conditional statements or loops, 
or any kind of functional retrieval or web services and so on that's when it takes more time selenium if used in right way will never have a performance issue to you. so my belief is this if there's an issue with selenium with performance issue that's only because of our programming illness rather than the platform because it's just giving you the base foundation nothing else whatever you building is your thing so a performance issue is our challenge not selenium drives uh why java is preferred in selenium than other programming language by java okay why is java preferred it's actually a very tough question to answer to you why java over c sharp java is open source c sharp microsoft technologies requires investment java does not have tech or customer support microsoft does java has open source community plugins that do a lot of contributions microsoft does not rather it's not free at least so by tools itself it went that way now let's look at selenium selenium is open source qtp is not i'm talking a few years back okay I'm not saying it as uft right now uh selenium wants it to have a user community qtp is more inbuilt customer support and service hp does so these are kind of lying in the same a pattern why java why not c sharp why selenium why not hp uft the same answer that kind of gets applied himlath how to get total how to get selenium tool real project experience as a value add go to qaonai.com all of you and believe me that's where you'll get everything from now i have only one word for it qa on air dot com let me do this can you please give us a little hints on selenium 3.0 what are key features as compared to web driver sure ki sure i'll uh, do a little research and try and show in one one of our sessions which one do you suggest id or web driver how can you even ask me that question it's not a choice it's like saying um you know do you want a chewing gum or do you want a full meals chewing gum will kill your hunger for some time but this one at advantage it will give you a fresh breath and some facial exercise but then you need a complete food to fulfill your diet right selenium id is very basic thing do not even think of it imagine it in a way that you'll speak in the interviews from a learning perspective yes from element identification perspective yes but it's not more from a branding or execution perspective team what concepts selenium we need to consider it from interview point of view so manasa that's a big question what points from interview i think manasa every interview is not about tool it is about you what do you know what you don't know that's it there is nothing else in the interview what do you bring to the table what do uh, they expect or what can the tools do and what you can so what are the concepts in selenium there is nothing like a cheat code here do you know your stuff or not even if you only worked in 30% of the overall diagram of selenium it still will help on can we this mobile applications use selenium not selenium but api are there any chances that one is non defined element in website oh yes many chances uh, chances selish where we can't define element for various reasons and they behave erratically they do not perform or behave the way we want them to 
It doesn't. I think I've covered most of the questions team. There are a few more questions that came up. But I believe most of them are. Okay. Hi, Karthik. If you're making a career shift to automation testing and you started to feel overwhelmed, how would you handle the situation? Please don't say my name in upper cases. All right, Mr. X. Uh, I think, see, the problem is, I don't know how many of you guys watched Bahubali. The part one, not part two team. Where this guy is trying to jump over a waterfall where there's a huge gap in between. From a kid to a teenager to a young adult. And then finally, it gets the inspiration, motivation to get the branch and then use it for leverage to jump over to the other side. Yes, he has always been trying. But the point is he did not give up. The point is he never had anything to start with. God gave everyone an equal opportunity. The problem is we try and say, I will try it for two months. I'll see if my career changes or I'll walk away. That attitude won't work, team. I'm not saying be jobless. I'm saying keep continuing. Give you three months solidly to, um, you know, learning new things. But at the same time, uh, do not lose touch and do not lose your personal life because of a lack of job. Do something about it. All right, Mr. X, thank you. I'm trying to read a few questions and see what's relevant. Kishore, your question is there in the right section, but I don't see a question. I have an issue conferring um, build path in my driver in Eclipse. Can you help me with that? You want me to share my screen? Not yet, Sunita, because it's too far ahead um, in the class right now. Not too far ahead, but it's ahead. So we'll wait for that. Hold it, everyone. Um, hopefully, I could answer most of your questions, queries. And it's important to connect sometimes Leave the class aside. Just sit, talk, talk and get queries answered. Hopefully, I'll be able to try and do more of these. But um, like I said, don't worry about next class being the last class. It will not be. It's no longer D5 only. I think I'll need two more sessions. I'll discuss with my team and make that arrangement. Our next class is going to be on Tuesday evening US time which will be Wednesday morning India time alright thank you everyone thank you so much take care have an awesome long weekend for everyone in the US and thank you to all uh, even I'm going to have a hopefully a good family weekend with my sisters and parents out here in Hatman I miss my kids though and my wife, but then I'm here or there. I keep have I have to do what I have to do. Thank you all. Bye now. Take care.